Yeah, I'm not gonna drink a big fat glass of milk on camera. That's not a good look for Yance. Maya Rudolph made her return to SNL as host over the weekend, and her first impression of the night was none other than Queen B. Beyonce Knowles Carter. <laughs> It is truly an honor. I know. I cannot believe you're on Hot Ones. Now I feel you. I, I still can't tell if this is beneath me. Maya did a spot-on parody of the 39-year-old singer and her look from this year's Grammy Awards. Thank you. Thank you so much. This sketch had the songstress join Sean Evans, played by Mikey Day on Hot Ones where Beyonce had trouble answering questions while eating some hot wings. Uh, Beyonce? <laughs> Sorry, I could. <laughs> Your girl's throat just closed up for a second. <laughs> Let's do the next wing. Okay, are you sure? Definitely, boo, definitely. Okay. When B couldn't handle the heat, she hilariously called her hairstylist over for some assistance. I need you to take my wig. Oh, put six ice cubes up on my head, then put my wig back on. But B, you on camera. I don't care. Take my wig off. Host of Hot Ones, Sean Evans himself, took to Instagram to praise Rudolph's performance, saying, quote, this was so good. It makes me so happy to be here in the place that I love. I can't tell you. Of course, the SNL alum's return brought a ton of great moments, including this sweet shout out during her monologue. Some of you may know me because, well, I used to work here. And, uh, <laughs> and some of you uh, may know me by the name Mommy because I gave birth to you. <laughs> I have four incredible kids and they're all here tonight. Don't make me cry. Saturday night also had Maya bringing back another iconic impression of hers, Vice President Kamala Harris. Good evening, America. I'm Vice President Kamala Harris. In another sketch, as Maya takes a stroll down memory lane, she gets a little help from some familiar faces. Hey there, Maya. Yep, that's right. Rudolph was reunited with former SNL cast members, Tina Fey, Kristen Wiig, and Rachel Dratch. Wait, Maya? Rachel? Oh my god, hi! The water's out in my building, so I just decided to come take a bath in the studio. <laughs> While this episode brought the laughs, it also brought a powerful moment from cast member Bowen Yang. During the weekend update portion of the show, Yang joined Colin Jost, where he opened up about the rise in anti-Asian violence. Things for Asians in this country have been bleak for the past two weeks. Look, I'm just a comedian. I don't have the answers, but I'm not just looking for them online. I'm looking around me. The GoFundMe for Xiao Jinxie, the grandmother who fought back against her attacker, raised $900,000, which she immediately gave back to the community. That's where we are as Asians. Now come meet us there. After getting emotional, Bowen shared a Mandarin sentiment that he hopes will inspire others to take action. In Mandarin, there's a cheer that goes, Jiayo, which basically means fuel up. I don't know what's helpful to say to everyone, but that's what I say to myself. Fuel up, do more. It's the year of the metal ox, which basically means a car. So everyone get in, buckle up. It's no pee breaks. We ride it, Don Grandmas. <laughs> Bowen Yang, everyone. <laughs> 